I feel eternally grateful for the suffragettes and everything that they did, and I feel, still feel emotional every time I go and vote. They were the first domino that led to a huge effect and a change in society. There is still a fight to go, and we still have quite a long way to go, and I'm willing to go the long way and hopefully make some change along that. Feminism used to be a dirty word and now you can wear it on a t-shirt and it's finally like a cool, like equality is cool. Popular culture has made it into a new thing and we are in the fourth wave. Growing up, politics, it was always seen as like, this isn't for you, you don't know anything about it. It can be a really scary thing to get into until you realise that politics isn't knowing all of the members of parliament, it is your lie. I remember my, my dad and my mum, they once entered a cleaning job in a government official's office. And whenever I hear that story, it's like, is that what Latin Americans have to do? I want to be the person in that office and make the changes in the world. I came here to Whitehall in Parliament a couple of months ago, and we went to the Foreign Office. It was very overwhelming. And I didn't find someone in power who looked like me, who was an ethnic minority. And the people who were there at the time were Latin American cleaners. So for me, it was very hard to see myself in a place of power. I don't necessarily identify with the feminists in mainstream society because it's really hard to see myself um, in their position and to compare my issues with the issues of a white feminist. The woman is still inferior and I'm still very mad at that. I'm still very angry because we're not equal yet. I was friends with the boy, and I had a crush on him. And I remember him turning to me and saying, you're, you're not my type. I was like, what do you mean? Did I have to be funnier? Did I have to be smarter? And he was like, no, I just don't like black girls. I realised I never wanted any other black girl to go through what I went through. People, when they see feminism, they don't see inclusivity. And I think that's one really important message I think needs to go out there. There are people who look like me, look like my best friend. We're not white, but we still are very heavily involved in the movement and we still care a lot. And I remember looking in British films, American films, and not seeing my face anywhere. And to 13, 14 year old me, it, it's crushing. Because it just shows, it reinforces the message that you don't belong anywhere. Which is kind of why I thought political activism for me would really be beneficial because I don't think there, especially in the political scene, I don't think there's many faces that look like me. I do think it's really important that there has to be a first and I want to be one of the first. The modern wave of feminism would just, just accept people for who they are, regardless of their gender or how they identify. I do think things have moved on a lot. Still there are battles to be fought. Everything's beginning to tumble and it's probably the most exciting and most reassuring time to be a woman. Thank you.